five things narcissists do when you go no contact. It can be very difficult to go no contact with a narcissist. But the worst part can be what happens after you go no contact. Once you have gone no contact with a narcissist, you never know what they're going to do next. They can be very unpredictable. But there are also patterns that narcissists seem to follow. There are certain things that most of them do. So here are the five most common things that narcissists do when you go no contact. One, hoovering. When you go no contact with a narcissist, they may try to hoover you. They may try to pull you back into the relationship. They may talk to you about random things. Or they will try to love bomb you. Because they don't want to lose their supply. They don't want to feel like they're not important to you. They will say anything to confuse you. To keep you thinking about them. They want your mind to be on them. But nothing good ever comes out of responding to a narcissist hoover attempts. You will just end up back in the same situation again. Where you are trying to get them to understand something or trying to get them to take responsibility. It's not going to solve anything. It's only going to cause more problems. If you want to heal from narcissistic abuse, you need to stay no contact. You need to avoid communicating with them. This is the time to focus on your healing. Do the inner work. Two, fake apologies. The narcissist may apologize to you. They may tell you that they understand everything that they did wrong. They may tell you that they're going to change. They will act like they've had this epiphany where they finally get it. But it's still just a part of the manipulation. They will say and do whatever they think will get you to return to them. They may start talking about their issues and things that they think they need to work on. They may say that they're going to see a therapist. And it may seem like they're really serious about it. But it's all an act. They're not doing it because they want to be better people. They're just trying to pull you back into the cycle of abuse. Three. They will get other people to contact you. If you stay no contact with a narcissist, they will get family members or mutual friends to talk to you. And you may start to believe that they have changed. You may start to believe that they understand you. But then you will only get back with a narcissist to realize that nothing has changed at all. You may even find that it's even worse than before. Because now they have to punish you for leaving them. 
In their minds, you had no right to leave. They lack empathy. So they don't understand what you're going through. But even if they did, they wouldn't care. If you return to the narcissist, they're only going to turn everything around on you, no matter what they said to get you back. That will all change as soon as you return to them. Four. Playing the victim. They will play the victim. They will say that a tragic event has occurred. They will say that they need your help. Because they know that you're a kind, caring person. But they see your kindness as a weakness. They see it as something that they can exploit and use to their advantage. They will make you feel like no one else can help them. But you cannot help the narcissist. You cannot heal them. And it is not your responsibility to do that. They don't even have any intentions of healing anything. They just want supply. They want to pull you back in to feed their egos, to indulge in their own self-importance. But there is nothing in this for you other than more trauma and abuse. Five, attention seeking behavior. The narcissist will engage in attention seeking behavior. They will try to trigger you. They will try to get your attention by doing something you don't like. They may steal from you. They may damage your property. They may start a smear campaign against you. They may try to hurt the people who are closest to you. They will do anything to ruin your life. Because they're trying to punish you for not validating their false self. And because of what they believe you did to them, which is really just a projection of what they did to you, they do this to get your attention. They do this to get supply. It feeds their ego. It makes them feel important. It makes them feel like they exist. It tells them that they still have power over you. And they're hoping that you'll try to fight back. Just so they can show everyone. How crazy you really are. Instead of fighting with the narcissist. You need to go within yourself. Detach from the narcissist. And heal yourself. Be honest with yourself and let the truth guide you. Eventually the narcissist will replace you with new supply. They just see us as objects that exist to meet their needs. We are replaceable to the narcissist.
all they're really looking for is someone to soothe the pain from their traumas. And if you're no longer willing to do that, they will be forced to find someone else. They need supply, and they can only get supply from people. They may use the new supply to punish you, and you may start to think that they've moved on. You may start to think that they're going to be happier without you. They may try to take your home, money, material possessions and children and share them with this new person. This will all have an effect on you. It may leave you feeling depressed, but that's okay. It's normal to feel that way after you've gone through this. So don't try to fight those feelings away. Let it be there. Heal it and return to yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.